In this video, we're going to learn about phase diagrams. So here's an example of a phase diagram. And what we can see is essentially what phase a substance is in um, at different pressures and temperatures. What we can see is that at uh, lower temperatures, um, so further to the left on the x-axis, um, the barrier is actually um, not between the solid and, and the liquid phase, but rather the solid and the gaseous phase. Um, so at lower temperatures, a substance may exist uh, either in gaseous or solid phase. Um, and uh, the higher the pressure, the more likely the substance is to solidify. At low pressures and low temperatures, you have a gas, but once the pressure starts to rise, a substance will go to the solid phase. And sublimation is the process where a solid goes straight to the gas phase without forming liquid first. Uh, deposition um, is the opposite of that, when a gas goes straight down to the solid phase. What we find is that at higher temperatures, um, at higher temperatures, boiling and condensing is something that happens. And the barrier is between the liquid and the gas phase. Um, and really what matters here is the pressure again. Um, uh, I will also note that oftentimes there's a fairly vertical line between the solid and the liquid phases, meaning that um, it doesn't really matter what your pressure is. Once you hit a sort of critical um, temperature, that's really going to tell you whether it's the gas that's going to be converting to a liquid or the gas that's going to be converting to a solid as you raise the pressure. There are a couple of points here that are worth noting, and one is called the triple point. The triple point is where all three phases, solid, liquid, and gas, are at equilibrium with one another. Um, and this will be a point with uh, both an X and a Y value. So that means that there is a temperature and a pressure at which all three phases are in equilibrium with each other. If you lower the temperature a little bit, you're probably going to have a solid. If you raise the temperature a little bit, you're probably going to have a gas. If you raise the temperature and raise the pressure a little bit, then you'll have a liquid, at least according to this particular phase diagram. Um, and there's also another point that's important to know about, which is called the critical point. And this is the temperature and pressure at which the liquid and the gas um, phases have exactly the same density. And they're both fluids. They both have the same density. They become indistinguishable at this point, which is why um, the curve um, on the phase diagram, it just sort of ends at this point because, well, we're not getting back to the solid over here. There's still a nice barrier. Um, but if you continue raising the temperature and or the pressure, it's really indistinguishable uh, whether we're talking about a liquid or a gas once you get beyond this point. Um, and that's how you read a phase diagram. So I hope this video has been helpful. Please feel free to leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.